Hopefully, this will uh, be practice changing and radiation will be accepted in the armamentarium of treatment options for patients with unresectable hepatocellular carcinoma. Um, there are many different systemic therapy options for patients now, but many patients still are offered a tyrosine kinase, such as serafinib. Um, Lomvatinib is a different tyrosine kinase inhibitor, and I hope radiation will be uh, considered for all these patients who are offered um, those therapies. And there are many patients who have progression after uh, other therapies. Um, who may um, not be candidates for any therapy. And if they meet the criteria for this RTOG study, for example, with vascular invasion, I think they also should be considered radiotherapy. Now, to uh, measure uh, you know, how the outcomes change in different patient populations is very, very important. And specifically in the era of immunotherapy, to look at um, how radiation can change and hopefully improve outcomes with better systemic therapy, I think is a really important priority uh, question for future clinical trials. And NRG um, is prioritizing th that question. And I hope there will be um, a phase three study looking at SBRT in addition to immunotherapy um, that will hopefully come to fruition sooner than later. Um, specifically regarding radiotherapy, there are many, many questions. You know, what are the best doses that we can use? Some of this we will learn from further analysis of RTOG 1112, but we can actually um, start to ask more specific radiation questions as well. Treating liver cancer patients is challenging because we need enough dose to control the tumor for a long time or ablate it, but not too much to cause toxicities. And there are different modalities to treat uh, patients with radiation with photons is how we usually do deliver radiation. All these patients in this trial were treated with SBRT, stereotactic body radiation with photons, but protons also shows uh, much promise. And there is a randomized study going on of proton versus photon radiotherapy through the NRG that is asking if there are improved outcomes with protons versus photons. So I hope, you know, those who have these patients who are suitable for radiotherapy would accrue to that study right now as it's open and accruing. So many unanswered questions, um, sequencing with all of our treatment options, using radiation earlier in the course of um, hepatocellular carcinoma, and even using radiation in the more advanced setting for symptom control. These are all potential roles where radiation can play a strong role. So I hope there are more clinical trials that involve radiation in the future, hopefully that accrue more rapidly than the trial that I presented accrue to that can show further benefits for more patients and help more patients around the world.